<laughs> Trash it! No. Let me put you in a mansion. Someone in Wisconsin. I recently found out, which sounds like it's not a like a mind-blowing thing, but I recently found out that squatting or kneeling is better for your health because it requires more muscle activity than sitting on a chair. I believe See, that. That's why Asians live longer. Uh -huh. yeah. Squatting in general squat. is fucking dope. Like what? Can, Can you, you demonstrate like for a chair? Right, right, right. You guys all Asian squat? Oh, okay. <laughs> this shit, wait. This way. Oh, you can squat. Well, can like, you? Like, so like you would do that while you're like eating or what? Just like, squatting in general, like just forever. Just like that shit. Line. Instead of sitting? This? Yeah. Oh, good. So we just, we're supposed to just do that instead of like just sitting down. Or kneeling. Can you do it? Cause there's people who can't do it. I can do it, yeah. Oh. Do it, do it. Do your, do your heels come up? This shit's just so cool. I mean, it hurts like fuck. Mm -hmm. Your joints hurt. It well. hurts? You start to build it. Your joints hurt? Yeah. To squat for a long time, yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's good. See, that's good. Yeah. That's, good. that's a good squat. Can we do oh, GK News all squatting? Too. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right yeah. But I mean, after a while, I know I would feel it like yeah. right here. Because it's so much easier to sit. And that's why. This is how we're supposed to take poops. Oh, yeah. Like in a hole in the ground. Like do y'all right have here. a squatty potty? I do. Bro, I have like one at the house, but I never use a squatty potty. I never get constipated either. Like, I never have a, like, I can literally time my I don't get constipated either. Yeah, same. I'm like three poops a day. Nice. What's it about for you, Tiff? It's vanity? Just vanity? No, for me, I just feel like it's just, it's better for my, I don't know. Yeah, for me, I want to plant two feet firmly on the side and just shoot it out. Like, that's what I want to do. Yeah, shoot it out? I feel like it would. How loose is your caboose? You just shoot it out. I have a squatty potty, but whenever I go to somebody, I like the feeling of it going, like ice cream? Yeah, it comes. That's through, gross. It comes out and it goes. It goes. Bloop. It's soft serve ass, bitch. I don't. I don't poop. I don't poop. Have, have you guys ever pooped poop. and you feel like you was like, man, this, I am gonna run out of space in this commode, and then you look back, you're like, oh man, I got fucking tons of space. What I've about? never it taken felt, a shit like that. I've, I've taken some poops where it felt like it was a fucking hey, a whole tube of toothpaste just yeah, got. That's what me. I'm saying. That's what I like. Where yeah. it just like comes out that way, like no, it doesn't shoot out. It's yeah. Vicky's poop is like the anime poop where it just swirls in a pool. <laughs> I feel like that kind of poop leaves the most residue in your butt hole when you're wiping. Oh, really? No, no, no. Because it, it goes and then there's nothing there. So I, I'll just bring the water hose in and I just lift one leg up and I just. Can I can I please preach about the, the bidet religion, please? Yes, I will back you because I, I love it. I feel like everyone should get a bidet because every poop is a one white poop and there's a jet that if you just. Just relax your butthole a little bit. It gives you like a small enema. Or oh, the vortex. Yeah, and then you and then you just push it all out, and everything that's stuck in there comes out. Here's my thing with that. I would get spoiled with it and never feel like I should use a bathroom yeah, that's in how the we public. Feel here. Like, yeah, I can't. You don't use have a bidet here, and I'm like, this is uh -uh. not right. I don't want nothing squirting in my butt except my husband. Oh, it's nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. Not even a boyfriend. Just you gotta wait not till you get to the bathroom. Yeah, you gotta wait. That's, I, 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 hey, that's not nice. That's a Maya Angelou quote. What? <laughs> Uh, no, so <laughs> what, I, what I love is, so I, I remember walking out of a, uh, of a porta potty, right? And I look at this guy who's about to go in there, and I'm like, it's a porta potty, dude. Like, it's not me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. But like there's, this, like, there's this feeling like when I was in the porta potty where I was like, for some reason, I feel like I can get everything out. What? I what? can smell every fucking oh, buddy's other it? shit. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, no, there's no shame in here, man. It's just like fully, like I'm fully well, me, open like to I do can't. whatever. I feel the exact opposite because of the fact that it smells so disgusting and everything around me feels like has yeah. shit on the walls and yeah. everything. You're just I'm just to trying it. to do my Dude. do what I gotta do. Are you telling me you don't feel like it's like it's 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 like unity? No, I like oh. Nordstrom bathroom where it's like floor to ceiling oh, yeah. doors and I feel like no one knows where I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm still yeah. squatting. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. real comfortable. Tim, you, you remember when we went to the porta potty in the Manon bathroom, and yeah. it was the first porta potty we find, and all of us looked at, it and we were like, ah, shit. Like, girl, <laughs> yeah. we, we'll be in there holding each other's kneecaps yeah. and stuff. Like, don't you know touch what? it, sis. Any don't touch it. Don't touch anything. Squat over it. Yeah, you have to go, like, like right over. Thing. Like, you gotta this hover. Do. You gotta like, hover. I, I have to hold her. See, so like that. Squats over, like, the so facial expression is the most accurate thing. Nikki's like, ugh. Both facial expressions. Don't touch it, You both look troubled. It is, it's a troubling yeah, experience. Yeah. I remember I was on an airplane once and I was waiting for the bathroom and this dude comes out and I walk in and I swear to God, it was like the devil came 
and used this guy's butthole as his vessel. It was the most disgusting fucking shit I've ever smelled in my life. I was offended. And the thing is, he walked out and he even looked at me and then just walked away. Uh, you know, people that shit like to... that and don't courtesy flush should just burn in hell. Right. I think it's a form of exhibitionism. Oh. When you know that there's a line outside and you take a big fat shit and then you look at him and you don't flush afterwards, yep. that's exhibitionism. You know what it is? What? It's like, hey, guess what? I own you a little bit right now. Uh, <laughs> that showing somebody your shit's about the equivalent of showing somebody your balls. Yeah. Well, I think she was saying like the courtesy flush so it doesn't smell as potent yeah. when you leave out. Bro, that, not leaving it in the commode. Part. Imagine you're in line and somebody pops their head out and they're like, hey man, do you want me to flush this? Oh God. <laughs> you catch a whiff like, oh yes, yes, you know flush that down. When there's, a, when there's a line or like when you get in there, someone had just come out, there was no line before you, like, and then you come out and there's a line, but it was their shit. You just had people uh, like, like yeah. but you, you can't explain like. I will. I, I didn't make it. I, I just peed. That was already in here. <laughs> just so you know. That, hey, that happens here at the JK office. I'm like, I don't shit here. I've never shit here one time. But ever. we know the culprits. I, right. Oh yeah, but, we but know. Still. They some, have an I, MO. Yeah, some people. <laughs> they some, do. Some they don't. leave the toilet seat up. Yep. They don't fucking replenish the toilet paper. Yep. It's the worst. No, some people who sit in this chair like to linger a little bit. <laughs> even after this, this shit. place a poop oasis and the thing is is that both fucking offices are like this True. both the offices got bidets multiple air fresheners no this one doesn't, no, this one doesn't. No oh really here. No you need to bring the bidets from the the new yeah, and, the the fridge. New and the fridge whoever Kate whoever decorated and set this office up had pooping in mind this person said every morning I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna shit we, we also had it. showers yeah we sometimes they used to leave their houses and go shit at JK offices mm -hmm. we also had a JK meeting where they're like hey whatever <laughs> you guys want we'll fuck we'll figure it out and i was like get the fucking fridge from the fucking new office bring it to the this office the drink fridge and then they broke it to me that they couldn't figure it out for whatever the fuck reason i'm like they said it was too loud i think or something whatever put it in the fucking back with the costumes that we don't and the need. ghosts back there we'll take care of it well, yeah. but there's a whole part of the office that never sees the light of day. Right. Ever. But nobody is like, hey, let's troubleshoot to that level. Everyone's like, eh, it didn't fit in the old Delivery. fucking fridge space, so that means it doesn't work. Well, they tried, Steve. Well, but it's Delivery too loud. Delivery is that. hard. Because they they, you got to get upstairs. Bart has and, a big-ass truck and muscly friends. Yeah, Bart has no excuses at that's all. That's true. All his friends are fucking barbell people. Barbell is in that office. They could diesel yes. take that fridge. Yes, they just don't want to because they want the fridge. Let's be honest about it. <laughs> It's all against Steve. I know what it's like. It's a conspiracy. I know what it's like to love something. You love a fridge. I love that fridge too. <laughs> the two companies love the fridge. What are we going to do? Maybe when we get a new fridge in our house, we could give our old fridge to Jay. I'm in. We I'm getting rid of my fridge, but it's going to someone who wants it, so uh, I can't come here. So I think Steve wants it pretty bad. I'm Steve, in, I feel I'm like in. you would have one of those refrigerators that talk to you. Oh, girl, I'm getting one that has a Keurig cup in it. In no, it? What? Those are bad. Right, I know the plastics, I know it's bad. Oh, I know, but yeah, like, you know, bitch. No, the turtles will die and it's no. okay. Listen to me. We use the, the reusable ones. Yeah, that. Oh, you put your okay. ground coffee in there. Turtles I have are that happy. Turtles yes. are happy, okay. But we also have the disposable ones in case we're in a rush, okay? Sorry. It's fine, no, no, the turtles will die. It's fine. Oh, that's good. You kept Fuck off by the turtles, they're fine. <laughs> turtles fucking live. They've been around for thousands of years. They haven't figured out how to fucking avoid plastic. <laughs> turtles outlive us. Us. They outlive us like a motherfucker. Like a 200 year old turtle, he's like, he's seen it all. But, oh, plastic, what is that? What's a turtle? Hey, what's a turtle's life expectancy compared to a human? Right. Yeah. You guys don't deserve it. Smoking, they can't smoke underwater. No, the turtles should be telling us what to do. Yeah. But give me this, man. So they do good as turtles don't smoke, they don't drink, they don't do coke. <laughs> fuck these turtles, man. <laughs> they fuck one partner for a lifetime. Yeah. Realistic oh standards. My God. I just thought of Master Ugwe. <laughs> Okay, guys, I didn't even tell you the rest of this. Right. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> we do this every day. We got like six minutes left. Perfect timing. Okay. This is great. So, there were these findings that are based on data gathered from a hunter gatherer population in Tanz Tanz Tanzania. Tanzania, sorry. So, this population, they wore devices that measured their physical activity as well as their periods of rest. And they found that despite being sedentary for almost 10 hours every day, uh, they still did not show signs of the physical deterioration that like, you know, people like us in like normal civilizations see in our bodies because when we're sitting, we use a lot less 
muscles than what they do, which is squatting. Squatting. Oh my God. Oh. I'm sorry. I was listening really intently the whole time because I forgot what the article was. And I was like, any second, there's going to be a keyword here that reminds me exactly what it was. <laughs> and it didn't come to the end. She said squatting. I was like, that's it. <laughs> you did not have to call yourself out. <laughs> She's being honest. Well, I did. Good for you. I Good did. For you. Good for you. I did. Good for you. I like that. Yeah. So they're saying that despite um, the fact that they're still being sedentary, they are squatting using some muscles internally that just lead them to be healthier overall than us. Good. I should do that while I'm streaming. Hmm. Yeah. Squat. Squat the whole time. Yeah, but Gina, if you, if, if I'll come into your stream and you're sitting here and you're like, all right guys, we're gonna play some Apex Legends. I'll like yeah. fucking try I'm it. Be like, I'm gonna be looking for the OnlyFans link. I'm like, we can play some Apex yeah. Legends today. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll play all Apex Legends. Bro, and then watch your streams go up <laughs> like crazy. No, dude, that's not even sexy. I look like an, an old Cantonese do mom. It, do it with some loose shorts on or some leggings. Yeah. I guarantee you, watch the shit go up. You say blue yeah, like, no. Say like, loose, loose shorts. Oh, 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 oh. So I can get a little peek. Oh, like, that was so specific. That, that was a thing. There was a girl. Loose shorts with leggings. There was a girl one time that got banned on stream because she had some really loose sh uh, shorts on and a lip fell out. <gasps> A full on lip fell out. And I mean, it was like. How did she get it out? It was out? like this close did to the camera. Did she shake it loose? Huh? It just Why was it that close? Out. It literally just fell out. She was doing something and she just wrapped the leg basically around the camera. So I know that some of y'all saw that she shit as Leia. Um, <laughs> she, <laughs> she had a whole lip fall out and it was a whole thing. They banned her because they said it was intentional. And I was like, I think that that lip just fell out. Mm -hmm. See, That's the thing is, it doesn't work for Asians because look, like it's not sexy in any way. Cause like I said, if I squat, I'm also because in Asia there's a lot of squat toilets. So just I would fucking I would just look like a fucking Asian grandmother. Just like with with like my chopsticks and shit. It doesn't work that way. It's not I sexy. Think, Gina, I don't think you understand what guys can jerk off to. It's kind of sexy, girl. Especially with those hoops, you look like yeah, a toilet. Yeah. I could jerk yeah, off you to. Yeah. I could jerk <laughs> off to a chick <laughs> shaking a fucking hot sauce bottle. Yeah. Yeah. With a bandana. Like, let's be honest. Like, Grab the bottle. Grab the bottle. You used to jack off to like like Playboys. That's literally yeah. paper. I've jacked off when I was a kid. I remember jacking off to the the drawn figure on a tampon exactly box. Like what? Yes, what? I drew I drew titties on a piece of paper and jerked off. Struggled, huh? You guys don't understand. She's sitting there and you see her fingers and she does this on the thing. I was like, that's all I need. Yeah. Oh my god. I remember when my mom got the Victoria's Secret catalog. It was like I found the fucking book of Mormon. I was like, wow, this is a whole religion I didn't understand, and now I find it, and it's beautiful. It's the prophet has told me. You know, there's like boys where if they get grounded, they'll jerk off to like a lamp, a lamp titty. Oh yeah, I remember oh, that. Nothing. It's just a little lamp up top, and it's a little dot. And yet, I respect them. They're, they were, they came first. They, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Yeah, they did come first.